Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. Got a beer here from the Lost Abbey Brewing Company, right here. Ah, uh, uh, the Black Parade. Da, 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 da. A bourbon barrel aged spiced ale. And this is 12% alcohol by volume. Bourbon barrel aged with, with uh, ale with spices. A very apparently long story about uh, uh, a Madame Marigold and her either lost or dead lover and a parade and stuff that I'm not sure if I'm going to read or not. But anyway, I'm trying to look at other information on this beer at all. Uh, vintage 2006, so it is, I don't, probably not even a year old, I'm not sure, but we'll give it a go. Didn't know what kind of bourbon or spices or anything like that, but it doesn't tell you, so that's fine. The Black Parade. Picked this up when I was in Washington. There we go. Lost Abbey Tattoo, which means it'll taste better because it's in the glass. Very dark ale. Very, very, very dark ale. Hints of uh, ruby, ruby, just ruby and um, caramel hues as I pour it. A little sedimentation in there. Give it a firm pour. Let's get some of that sedimentation in there. A little bit of it, and that's okay. A little bit of a hiss going on. Very loud hiss. So there it is, but it didn't, it's um, just a very soft ring of head on that one. Up to the light. Very dark indeed up to the light. Not really getting anything. Uh, I'm definitely getting the alcohol sheets clinging to the very tip of this tattoo. So, let's do it. Cheers. Well, I'm, to me anyway, I'm getting peppery, bright, Bourbon, char smoke, cinnamon, and coffee. That's what I'm getting right off the bone. Yeah, very spicy, very, very spicy. Um, peppery, white pepper. But I'm getting a little bit of a raisin, raisin cinnamon yes to it too. So here we go, cheers. I have no idea what spice is in it, no idea, nothing about it. So 12%, let's do it, cheers. Oh my goodness. It's a very odd beer, I'm not sure where to categorize this beer. Feels like a couple different ales all mixed together. Definitely have, oh wow. Lots of different characteristics. The rich caramels, molasses, brown sugars, uh, baker's chocolate. You get a little cinnamon in there, little raisins. You definitely get that bright peppery bourbon. Getting vanilla. I'm getting cloviness, a little bit of have an earthy clove in the back end. There's definitely coffee going on in this one. It almost seems to me like this is trying to be some kind of a, a good imperial stout, but it's in the, th in the thinner side, and there's also these like raisins and caramels and mountain molasses and brown sugars, and it's a very interesting. It's, um, it has this really nice coffee, baker's chocolate, dark chocolate note to it. So I'm bordering this one onto in this Arica Imperial Stout. That's why I th in the base, even though there's other nuances, the base to me seems like an Imperial Stout base. It's a thin Imperial Stout. It's nothing too crazy, but it's a high side of a medium body. <coughs> Excuse me. That peppery bourbon is amazing. You do get cinnamony, cloviness in the background, mixing with that coffee earthiness, tannic char, vanilla, 
cinnamon raisins, brown sugar molasses. If I would have to pick a star out though, the bourbon, the peppery bright bourbon, is definitely the one of the biggest notes of the beer. Under that, then that kind of bittersweet baker's chocolate, dark chocolate comes in there. After that, then that's when that those those fruits and those uh, caramels start kicking back up. That cinnamon, to me, there's a cinnamon I'm getting out of that spiciness, hot spicy, almost a. Um, the spiciness I'm getting is almost like a, a white pepper, cinnamon, almost a chile kind of almost a spiciness. Uh, very interesting, very different. Uh, not an overblown pepper beer, ch chili beer or pepper beer or anything like that, but there's this really oh, spiciness, you know? I think a little bit of that might be mixing with that 12% alcohol by volume, that ethanol alcohol, mixing with that peppery bourbon too. Whoa, kicking it up a notch too. Definitely a good beer, wow. It's this good, this fresh. I can only imagine with some age on this. Mm. Mm, yeah. That just that right near the end, when you think it's all just going to die down, this waft of caramel and raisins comes right back up and finishes it off. It's very nice. The Black Parade. Now, I'll try to read. You know, I'm not good at reading. No one knew her actual name. To most, she was simply Madame Marigold, Princess of the Black Parade. Each November 1st, she is led a procession through the town square to a makeshift altar at an unmarked grave. Year after year, the, procession, the processions grew larger, the celebrations more elaborate. Patiently, she awaited for him always, yet he never arrived. Then one year, she was uh, gone. Her legacy endures, the Black Parade marches despite her absence. Each fall, the entire village celebrates the lives of all that, the, I think it says lives, but it's only live. The, the lives of all who, the lives, I think, of all who, all, all the departed, including Mary Mad Mad Mar Marigold and her anonymous lover. So there's the big story. And it was brewed and bottled by Lost Abbey Brewing Company, uh, San, I think that's, am I might. I screwed up. San Marcos, California. So there you go. And this is a very, very interesting beer, indeed. So there it is. I don't know if you can see the. Wish I had something a little bit better to put her on. There she is. And I think this is a very, very nice beer. Mm. No. Wow, man, that is spicy. Bright peppery bourbon, and there is that spiciness to this beer. It's almost a chili cinnamon spice that I'm getting out of this. It's a hot beer, that's right. Anyway, I like it, I think it's tasty. Mm -hmm. It is a little pricey. It was like $18 a bottle. That's pretty damn pricey. And it's a very good beer. Um, it's still fresh though. It could be changing. It could get more dynamic and more dynamic and more dynamic. But even though the price is, is, is a pretty pricey beer, I'm still going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. I think it's a very, very good beer. And I'd like to have it again. This has been Paul from P.A. Brunius. Celebration time. The Black Parade started. Mm. Cheers. Bye-bye.